Good morning, students. How are you all? Okay. Today we'll study the first lesson of science: plants preparing and storing food. Open your textbook page number one thirty. Did you ever wonder why all the plants and leaves are only in green color? Why can't they be in some other color like pink, red, blue? Yes, plants have a substance called as chlorophyll, which makes them look green. Because of this presence of chlorophyll, plants are able to prepare their own food. So, plants prepare their own food. Plants prepare their own food. How do plants prepare their own food? They take water and carbon dioxide. By using sunlight, they convert their food. They prepare their food. Now let us see how do they prepare their own food. So now here is a plant. This plant is taking sunlight. It is taking sunlight from sun. It is taking carbon dioxide from the air. It is taking absorbing carbon dioxide from the air, and the leaf is taking sunlight. Now, plant also takes water from the roots. Plants have roots, right? So they take water from the roots. It is taking water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. Since the leaf has chlorophyll, this chlorophyll converts carbon dioxide and water into starch. How plants prepare its own food? It takes sunlight energy from sun. It absorbs carbon dioxide from air, and it takes water from the ground with the help of roots. Now. As chlorophyll is present, it converts carbon dioxide and water into sugars. Carbon dioxide and water is converted into sugar in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll. This process is called as photosynthesis. Okay, this process. Is called as photosynthesis. Now, what do you mean by photosynthesis? Photo means see. Photo means light. Synthesis means together. Now, the sunlight puts carbon dioxide and water. Together to prepare food. This process is called as photosynthesis. Now let us see. We all have facts. See, we all have two eyes, two hands, one nose, mouth, right? Now, does plants also have some facts? Let us study about. That. Now let us see a leaf. In leaf, if you see, you will find different types of lines on the leaves. See now here, you have a very big line, a standing line, starting at from the top of the leaf to the end. Go, you will find it. Right? This is called as midrib, and the small small lines are called as side veins. Understood? Now a leaf has two parts called as midrib, the long vein, and side side veins called as side veins. With this midrib, one rib, one vein takes food. It supplies food to all the parts of the plant. The other vein takes water to all the parts of the plant. Right? Did you get it? Now see, the leaf has midrib and side veins. Midrib takes food and water to all the parts of the plant. Now, how do plants breathe? We have lungs to breathe. 
Then how do plants breathe? See, every plant, plant, the leaf bottom has a structure called as stomata. So, this is called as stomata. With the help of the stomata, during photosynthesis, it takes, it absorbs carbon dioxide from the air and releases oxygen. And it also helps in evaporation of water. Did you all get my point? Till now we have learned how plants prepare its own food. Then how will that food be used by plant? If we eat food, we get energy. We play, we dance, we sing, we sleep, we do lot of activities, right? We come to school, we go to movies, we go outside, we do lot of things with the energy which we are getting from food. Now, what will the plant do? Let us see what the plant is. How does it use it food? It is used to get energy. Now, if we eat food, we get energy, right? So, we can go out, we can play with our friends, we can play with our siblings, we can come to school. In the same way, plants also use their food to get energy. If they get energy, they grow more and more and more tall. See, plants are so taller than us, right? They use their energy to get more and more tall. To, some of it is used for growth. See, some trees are very huge, huge, very big, big trees, very, very big trees. So, if they are having more, more amount of food, if they are getting more energy, they are growing more and more big. Right? So, in the same way, if you eat more food, if you are more energetic, you will grow more and more strong. You will be more and more big. And if you go to a shop, um, shopping mall, if you get some chocolates, if the chocolates are extra, what will you do? We will store it right, we will go and we'll keep it in the fridge. In the same way, if the plant has more amount of food, it is stored in the form of starch. We store our food in the fridge and plants store their food in the form of starch. Okay? So this is present in leaves, stems or roots. Do you all like eating spinach? Or do you all like eating curry leaves called curry bagu? You don't like, no? So, the food or the energy is stored in the form of leaf in spinach. Now, do you remember what is the stem which we eat? You don't remember? Do you all love sugar canes? Yes. Uh, the plant stores an extra energy in the form of stem in sugar cane plant. Now, do you all love potatoes? We all love eating aloo, right? Aloo chips, aloo gobi, aloo, 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 like lot of aloo varieties. Now, this aloo, this potato is also an example of food storing. The food is stored in the form of fruit. 